guys, this is work yet now. So, a uh, customer complained about the airbag lights on in his uh, dashboard or cluster. So, this is the key Rio. So, um, I connect the um, GDS or the scan tools. So, um, we're gonna check ignition on first. Complain about the airbags. See the lights on. That airbag, airbag is uh, that's the concern. See, this is the full codes for this one here. See, airbag driver airbag resistance to high first stage. So now my um my verification is the 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 spiral cable behind this steering wheel that uh, we need to be changed. So now, guys, I'm gonna show you how to change or replace this um, spiral cable or clock spring all right so all right, all right guys first you need to disconnect this um, battery terminal before you do anything for the airbags okay like that disconnect the negative terminal and okay that's it all right guys this is that um the tools that we need this is the torch strings yeah, maybe we use this piece and um, and that 22 millimeter socket, it's short extension, and the impact range and 19 millimeter socket. Either either two, this one I don't know yet, which um which uh, socket that I need to use. Maybe this one, 22 millimeter socket. All right. So, all right, guys. Um, now we need to remove this steering steering wheel first and the cover for the steering column first you need to lose this um, uh, torch so we i used uh number 30 so let me use that one so All right Next, the other side. All right, remove this one. Okay. Yeah, and then you need to disconnect this um these um um airbags. So you need to use the small um flat screw driver. Pry this um, orange one, and then like that. And then remove this some um, plastic all right guys so make sure this one is in the in the in the up position just for safety so and then um remove this horn connections like a plastic blue cab or something like that so a connector so that and then um disconnect also for the this white connections for the clock spring so they have a clip on it remove that one Right. So now is we need to remove this um, steering wheel nut. Yeah. We use the 20, 22 millimeter socket, and then I'm gonna use the impact and the extension. All right. Okay. Yeah, this is the, the nut, and they have um, a washer and is it so like that. Make sure it's loose now, okay? So yeah, see the, the washer. Don't forget this washer also is a lock washer. So alright, put it put secure this steering wheel. And now um I I, I forgot the screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you that too bad. Yeah, I forgot to show you. Okay. Like that. Okay, and um, in the bottom, they have a small one in the bottom also. Okay, here. So now this cover, we need to pry a little bit because it's hard. So you're gonna use the Phillips screw like that, and then okay. So this is the clock spring. So first, you need to disconnect this connect this um for the connections, this one here, and for the sensor also behind. 
left one there and um uh remove the lock uh it's three locks this one and the other side and the top one okay like that all right and the top one okay so this is the clock spring the old crack spring so i'm gonna show you guys the the new one okay in column or stirring um without the, the steering wheel and the clock spring yeah this is the switches 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 okay so i'm gonna show you the the new clock spring uh to unbox on it all right guys this is the the new clock spring box open it yeah Right. Yeah. In the car. Yeah, like that. Right. And the connection is being covered with the plastic bags. Just protect the, you know, anything moisture, dust, or yeah. All right. That's from the from the manufacturer. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you how to install or put it the new one. Black spring is the one there so the new one has a, a, a safety lock you know because this this um, this clock spring has like you can turn you know the clock spring you know accidentally so it will damage the, the the wire looms inside so from the manufacturer they have a lock safety lock this one here right so once you install it you need to remove it and put the string wheel back okay I'll show you uh, like push to 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 lock the the clips the trick clips all right so now plug the connections the connector one all right two yeah and then put all the cover back and that make sure it's it's secured properly and put the three screws all right first we're gonna put in the bottom part first okay second then the last one yeah you can use just you can do it yourself this one if you know if you have scan tools universal scan tools or you know, a simple tool, screwdriver, torch, and millimeter socket like that, 22 millimeter socket extension, or you, so now it's secured now, like that, it's locked, the, the stirring lock, like that, it's secured now, so, so we can put it back, this stirring wheel, remove first this, you know, the clock spring uh, safety lock, disconnect, easy to remove, and then now put it back, that straight make sure that the steering wheel is straight oh, all right so put it back what it is and then um, the nut yeah don't forget the lock nut in the bolt first and then the, nut, the last the nut all right so hold the steering wheel and then tighten it up okay so it's tight all right, it's tight now. So put back the connections for the, the clock spring connections and connectors and the horn. And then, um, all right. So this one is for the, the airbags. All right, so straight now. So put it back these airbags. Make sure it's straight like that and clip position like that and then plug it in make sure it properly because if not it will airbag lights on again so make sure after that one it's flat then connection uh, the, the the lock safety locks make sure it's you know it's in place and the plastic to secure and then like that make sure like that so okay and then the torch the two bolts 
right? Not 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 tight yet because you're gonna uh, uh, you know the tight first the, the other side. Just hand tight and then final tight. Okay. So how to tight my this one and to lose also I use a uh, small a uh, spanner because I don't have the one that the with the socket because this hole is very small so I use this one and to tight it's just you know like that I'll show you like that and position the torch and then okay second tight so now um now is plugged in back this um i2 connect this bci2 back all right so put back the battery put back the battery terminal all right and tight all right i'm gonna use the machine scan tools all right Ignition on. Where's the ignition here? Ignition on. Yeah, on. All right. So we're gonna um, check this. Um. All right. So it's on now. Okay. Search for the the BCI. Yeah, it's connected now to the BCI. See the Bluetooth sign. That's why. So it means it's connected. The BCI and the, the GDS. This is called the GDS or Global Diagnostic Tools. Yeah, so scan tools. So that one there is the BCI through this GDS. So first, this some um, airbags uh, resistance too high, so it's still on. This is the old fault code. So what we're gonna do is you need to delete it. Delete that one first, erase, click that one, and then it show he delete all in the systems. But the fault codes is just that um, um, airbags resistance too high. So, yeah, it's okay now. So, the airbag is good now. Start the car. Start the car, and we need to observe that lights. It comes on. So, first, we need to turn the steering wheel. Like that, make sure. Like that. Yeah, make sure it's no lights. Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I just want to make sure. Yeah, so so far is no lights. So now it's um, turn off back. All right, and wait for a couple of seconds. Like a like a five seconds something like that. All right. So after five seconds, you need to turn back again, start the car, and then reconfirm if the lights is is on. So a couple of seconds. Yes, it's off. It's normal that it stay on while you start the car. A couple of seconds, it will stay on and then turn off, and then it's you know, yeah. Okay. So. Now we need to recheck again. Scan tools, rescan. We need to check if uh, yes is good. Now the airbags. That's the one that um important. I hope it's good. Yes, it's good, guys. So yeah, everything is okay now. Okay, it's good. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna go rotest and and then guys. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and and um, likes and that's it. Okay guys, thank you very much.